Merry Christmas Eve. One more day till Christmas Day. And I was thinking to myself, since we are only one day away from Christmas and we're here to do some cruise news, that we ought to have the Christmas cruising spirit in us today. And we're going to do nothing but good and positive cruise stories for you today. Now, we're going to talk about some ships that have resumed sailing. And then I'm going to tell you a story about Royal Caribbean that while it sounds negative up front, I really think it's positive. Chris here with High Seas Cruising and welcome to today's video. All right, let's start off with some cruise ships that have resumed service, resumed sailing after 21 long months here in the United States. First up, we have Royal Caribbean's Enchantment of the Sea. Well, she has resumed sailing from Baltimore, Maryland. We have the Norwegian Pearl. She has resumed sailing from Miami, Florida. And we have Holland America's Zooterdam. I think that's how you say that. But she has resumed sailing from San Diego, California. And that leaves us with our Royal Caribbean story. And you may have already heard, you may have already read about it, or at least seen the headlines. Royal Caribbean has closed all bookings till mid-January. Well, that is actually true. Royal Caribbean has stopped taking any new bookings till about the 10th of January so far. If you go on their website, you'll see you cannot book a cruise between now and then. So a little over a two week period for right now, you can't book a Royal Caribbean cruise. All of that is true, but there is a good reason and a positive reason behind Royal Caribbean's decision. One, first and foremost, if you are booked on a cruise between now and then when these bookings are closed out, your cruise is not canceled. There have been no cruise cancellations. They are simply not accepting any new bookings. So Royal Caribbean ships right now are sailing roughly about at 70% capacity. So the idea behind closing out the bookings is to reduce capacity on board the ships, leave a little more space between the passengers, provide a little bit more social distancing to go along with the health and safety protocol updates that we've had recently. That's why they did it. The CEO of Royal Caribbean International, Michael Bailey, has said this information himself. Look, it's to increase social distancing, put some more space on there, and begin to reduce back the capacity on the cruise ships. That is going to be part of their answer to help with the Omicron variant. So this is good news. These ships are still going to sail. And if you're booked on one of those ships, well, now you have more space. It has the chance of being even less crowded 70% capacity already left you some extra room. Well, now it could be even less. So you're still going to get to enjoy your cruise. You're just going to have shorter lines. Less wait time to do things on board the ship. That's what this means. That is why I think it is good news. Instead of a cruise shutdown, instead of a cruise lockdown, instead of, oh my God, we have to stop sailing, Royal Caribbean is simply going to reduce their capacity and keep on going. That is good news for cruise passengers die-hard cruisers who want to keep out there and want to keep cruising. That's why I said it's a good story. It's a great news story. Cruising continues on. More space for you and me. And I also think it's a very positive step from the cruise lines themselves. I think it's a wise and it's a smart decision. Reduce the capacity. Keep on cruising. Look, I do remember back when we were talking about the resumption of cruising six months ago, seven months ago, eight months ago, it was a big question of what is the capacity going to be on these cruise ships when they first resume sailing. And the magic number for profitability on a cruise ship was, you know, somewhere between 30 and 40% capacity. Once they get above that, that particular cruise is profitable. So yeah, even if the cruise lines bring back their capacity, let's say we go from 70%, back to 60%, maybe even down all the way to 50%, they're still above the profitability threshold. Yeah, they don't make money as fast, but some profit is way better than no profit, which would, which would be the result if we had another cruise shutdown, which the cruise lines don't want and can't afford. As cruisers, we don't want, because we sure don't want to stop cruising. So little reduced capacity is a win-win, is a good story, 
is a positive message for Christmas and for cruisers, at least in this cruiser's opinion. All right, I hope you all enjoyed today's video. If you have, do me a favor, smash that like button. Have yourselves a great Christmas. Have yourselves a happy holidays. And we will see you out on the high seas.